we're going to use what we've been learning about changing from log to exponential form to help us solve logarithmic equations. In general, when we solve logarithmic equations, we're going to want to follow the steps that are listed, step one through five, on the right-hand side of this table. Let's look at our problem that we're given. Solve log base three of x equals two for x. So our first step is to isolate the logarithmic part of the equation. What that means is that I shouldn't have any multiply value times the log or anything added to it out front. So this one is already isolated. So I'm going to say that this step is already complete. Then we would go to step two. So step two says change the equation to exponential form. So I want to take my base of three raised to the second power equals x, and I'm going to write that here. So three squared equals x, and then I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out. Three squared is nine, so nine equals x. Step three is to isolate the variable that step is also already complete. So I'm going to move to step four, which is to check my result if possible. To check, I'm going to input my result of nine into the original equation. So log base three of nine. And we know from our work now that that should be two because, why is that true? Because the base of three raised to the second power equals nine. And so that checks because two was what we started with as our output here. Identify the final result in exact form. X equals nine is in exact form. and we are done with this problem.